On a chill Sunday evening in Echo Park in LA, everything seemed like a quiet, average night, to Jackass star Bam Margera, and former Sublime member, Eric Wilson. This seemed like a perfect opportunity to throw a raging house party. Oh, no, no, the going on here? Near the corner of Rosemont Avenue and Temple Boulevard, in a small craftsman house that was recently sold and set for demolition, a band called Spray Allen formed by the bassist of popular 90s ska band Sublime, played an impromptu show hosted by Jackass veteran Bam Margera. So we're out here in Los Angeles editing the Spray Allen video with <laughs> Keanu Reeves here aka Chris Siegel. Yes sir. And uh, <laughs> man, did you know that there was a f***ing pole down in the basement? Oh, well, no, not at all. Well, a lot of people went down there and to the were, cesspool. And they popped the whole thing and it was a yeah. f the whole basement was filled to the hilt with with water with that we brown water went, went, <laughs> went flow we should have got ramps. Covered by pinkish purple lighting with graffiti on every possible surface, people flooded the party, intensely eager to socialize after a full year being locked down, having what seemed to be the time of their lives. The Revellers absolutely demolished the home's interior while Eric Wilson and Spray Allen played covers of Creedence Clearwater Revival and The Misfits. The atmosphere was immensely fun. Walls were getting smashed with any blunt objects people could pick up, with loose chunks of drywall and dust coating folks who didn't seem to care at all. The BYOB, bring your own bat, incentive turned kitchen cabinets into a handful of cheap wood. At one point a massive hole formed in the ceiling exposing insulation, and a loose, van skate high sneaker. A thick layer of dust and rubble carpeted the floors. Amazingly, nobody got seriously injured, except for a man that allegedly broke his hand. But by the end of the night, almost everybody went home happy, draped in a fine white powder. No, the best part was the guy who didn't get in because he didn't know that he had to say he was a oh, VIP. Oh, so here we go. Yeah. In order to get in to the party, you have to be a VIP, whatever that means. So I'm like, yo, man, you got to be a VIP. Are you VIP? Dude's like, yeah. I'm like, get in. You? You VIP? Yeah, yeah, I'm a VIP. <laughs> this one kid goes, dude, I'm, I'm not I'm not really a VIP. Uh, I, I work at Starbucks and... Uh, I'm hurting on rent. <laughs> he threw him himself under the bus. Then another guy goes, are you VIP? Yeah. And he goes, wait a minute. I am a VIP. I mean, get the f*** in. <laughs> well, that's how we treat people. Every everyone's a VIP around here. Everybody's a VIP. Well, except for Bam, because Bam can't have any fun. That's 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 the new rule, right? We should have a, yeah. a, a non-VIP section. Yeah. Well, for head. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. Well, I'm a billionaire. Get the f*** out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The richest guy gets to go in the non-VIP. and the poorest Who are you? Guy, well, I'm a pro surfer. Out. Gets the full <laughs> <laughs> the performance was reportedly staged for a music video shoot for Spray Allen. While mayhem ensued, Bam Margera paced through the interior of the house, sober as a bird, holding a phone that never seemed to stop recording. 
Other camera operators collected footage in addition to cell phones of nearly 50 other riled up ragers. Bam told his 2 million fans on Instagram to meet him at the house earlier in the night. At multiple points throughout the night, Marjorie managed to stop and take photos with various groups of fans. Say fentanyl. Someone sarcastically said as others took pictures and cell phones. The Jackass star was recently ousted from the franchise series' latest feature film, Jackass 4, after reportedly falling off the wagon. Since the ousting Bam seems to be living his best life, almost as if a huge weight has been lifted off his shoulders.